Hey y'all, Irix Sky here, and within this video, I'm going to explain how a water softener works in plain English. That's right, if you're like me, you've been researching water softeners, you got hard water, you, uh, you just don't know what you need to get, you don't know how it works, well, what I'm going to do is explain in plain English how this works. Now, keep in mind, I am not a water softener expert but I did install a water softener in my house and I've taken my hard water, which not to get too technical was on the color chart was very hard and now it's soft because I've installed this water softener. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk about this, man. We're gonna talk about it in very simplistic terminology. So what you have here is this, this container and it holds salt. So what you do, and you can use pellets. Some people use salt pellets. Some people use other salt. Just water softener salt. You know, look at your local store or check the link within this video's description. I've linked some there. And uh, you need to keep some of that on hand because you will have to refill this salt. So this contains the salt. This tank contains what are referred to as resin beads. And again, I'm not going to get over... You know, I'm not going to get overly technical with this. We're going to keep it very simplistic. So what happens, see these pipes right here. Those pipes, man, they bring water in from the outside. So this is where the water comes in to the house. And when it comes in, it passes through this. This is optional, but this is a uh, whole house filter. So everything, the toilets, the showers, the dishwasher, the uh, all the sinks, everything, the garden hoses outside, everything is tied into my water in my house is going to be filtered with that then you've got this unit here which is the controller head check out my separate video where i explained how i set it up but you'll see right there the gallons are ticking down i've got it set to 4,000. i think it was 4,600 is what i determined i needed to use it's a simple calculation we're not going to get into that within this video but this counts down as water is being used. So like what's happening right now, my wife's up there filling up that bathtub and the bathtub's filling up. So this is counting down. So essentially what happens, and there's several ways you can configure this, but this is how I did mine, keep it simple. I ran the calculator tool online. And again, you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find the water softener like I'm using. But I ran the calculation tool there and it determined how many gallons I should enter. And essentially what will happen, once this gallons hits zero, it'll trigger what's referred to as a regeneration. And again, not to get too technical, because that's the purpose of this video, dude. I'm just walking around barefoot. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just keeping it simple. So essentially what happens, what it, when a regeneration occurs, it is sending this, see, it's using the salt. And again, there's a, there's a hose here that's connecting the salt tank to what they call the, uh, you know, the, the water bead resin tank, the resin tank. And essentially what's happening is this salt, and it's about an hour long process. You can configure it differently. But when it does what's called a regeneration, the salt is essentially washing off those beads. They're called resin beads. If you look, beads, if you looked in this tank, it would look like little balls. So what happens, how a water softener works, those balls, this salt, and it cleans those balls. So you keep your, you keep your salt refreshed, and depending upon your use, your usage of water will dictate how, many, how frequently you have to re-add salt. For mine, probably about 40 pounds a month. And, and again, that sounds like a lot. The reality is a lot of retailers, you're going to find water softener salt for probably, again, inflation's a, a scary animal, but probably at the time of filming this, probably comfortably under $10 a bag. So it's not an expensive thing from a salt perspective. But, you know, this salt in this, in these, the salt is used to wash the beads of resin in the tank because they've got to stay clean. So the simplest way to look at this is that, and if you're like me, you're like, dude, that's a small tank. You know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna take a shower or a bath and, and guy even mix in washing dishes and, and, and washing my clothes? How am I gonna do all that with such a small tank? 
That's why you don't understand how a water softener works. And that's why I'm explaining within this video, barefoot, while barefoot, how a water softener works. So don't think of this as a storage tank. And don't think of this as, you know, making your stuff really salty. What this is doing, this, when you run through the specified number of gallons, this is cleaning those resin beads inside this tank. So once those beads are clean, when your water enters from the street or well, if you got a well, whatever you got, when that water enters your premises, when that water enters your house, it is flowing through this tank. And this tank has a bunch of balls. And all those balls inside this tank, those resin beads, those resin balls, the water's going over them. And those, think of it as a magnet. So like if you've, if you've ever held a magnet and you've held something magnetic against that magnet, you know that the magnet attracts, the, is attracted to the metal. It's the same type deal with this. You got those little balls, those resin balls, those resin beads inside of there. And when they're washed, they're like a magnet. So they're taking all that hardness and that, that hardness is attracted to the balls. So um, those balls are getting all the hardness out of your water. And again, depending upon the formula, and, and again, mine came out, I set mine to about four, I think it was 4,600. But according to the formula, this system that I use, and again, you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order it online. But <clears throat> this system is intelligent enough if you set it in the in what's called the uh, the time metered mode like I use, it knows the gallons that you anticipate using. So intelligently, what this thing will do is once that gallon count that's entered hits zero, if you've got it configured like I do, check out my separate video for that. Again, I don't want to get overly technical within this. But what that'll do is trigger this system to wash its balls. So it'll use the uh, the salt in this side in conjunction with water and it's going to clean the balls and then once the balls are clean that's called the regeneration so once it's regenerated then this number will go back to whatever the gallon count that you specified was and it'll you know once you run through the specified this and again this machine detects how much water has been used but once it runs through the specified uh, gallons then it'll trigger the machine to enter a regeneration, which again is just essentially washing the balls. It's washing the balls of resin. Not to overly simplify explaining how a water softener works, but if you just look at these two things, okay, that's salt. Think of this as some sort of cleaner. It's not, it's salt. And what is this? Well, this is, just think of it as a big filter of sorts because what's happening the water from the city, the water from the street, the well, whatever, it enters your house. And when it's flowing through that resin tanks, it has that resin tank rather that has clean balls, those clean balls are gonna attract the stuff that you want to get out of the water, the hardness. So think of it as and it's not, but think of it as a bunch of magnets in there. And when that water comes in, it's like, dude there's water in here, man. We got to like attract it. But in the case of a magnet, it would be like, dude, there's metal in here, you know? And all you would just see, imagine seeing metal sticking to magnets inside of there, which is a crazy example, but it's not metal sticking to magnets. It's water sticking to balls. So the water is sticking to the balls in there and you've got to keep the balls clean because if the balls are dirty, they're not going to do an effective job of softening the water. So that's why the regeneration occurs. So again, a bunch of ways to set these things up. You know, ask your installer. You can do it yourself. Expand this video's description and click the link there and you can find where to order the water softener like I use. But once it's set up, you know, it's just a matter of replenishing your salt. And again, you know, depending upon the size of your household, how many people are in your house, how much water you use, you know, that could be a 40 pound bag a month. It could be more, it could be less. Again, it all depends upon your usage. But for me, it's about a 40 pound bag a month.
which is a small price to pay, in my opinion, for something that'll keep my water soft and not, you know, gunk up. You know, you, you're trying to clean your shower door. It's got all that scum on it from the hard water. You get your, you put in a new bathroom. You got new faucets. The faucets get all that orange and pink stuff around them and you can't get it off. It's worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, just, just think of it as, you know, this, this does have a little bit, you know, water passes through it, but don't think of this as a storage tank. You know, this is just, this just has a bunch of balls in it and those balls are washing your hard water. If you think of it that way, and then, you know, once those balls get dirty, they got to be clean. So the salt's cleaning your balls. If you think of it from that perspective, it's a pretty easy concept to grasp. And, you know, once that water is, you know, once it passes through there, then it goes into your house, all the places in your house, unless you've got a uh, plumbing set up to where, you know, that particular line doesn't feed all of your house. In my situation, it does. You know, so everything from the... Uh, from the, you know, water faucets outside to the toilets and showers and the dishwasher and the washing machine, all that. It feeds it all. So it, it's a pretty easy thing to grasp once you just break it down. And, and again, I'll summarize again. This, this little thing contains salt. What does the salt do? The salt washes your balls. What does this thing contain? This contains resin balls or resin beads, whatever you want to call them. Why are they in there? Well, they're in there because they function as a magnet of sorts. And when the water from the city or the well flows through the resin balls, it washes the hardness out. And then that soft water enters your house. Well, what happens when the balls get dirty? Well, when the balls get dirty, you get the, you get this salt and that salt washes the balls. Well, okay. Then you use whatever specified quantity of water. You know, in my case, a little bit over 4,000 gallons. What happens then? Well, because of the way I've got mine set up, it'll trigger a regeneration. What is a regeneration? A regeneration is when the salt washes the balls and makes everything clean again. So that at that point, You've got another 4,000 gallons or whatever you've specified that it can run through before it triggers another regeneration. Now, you can set, and this is a topic for another video, you can specify a frequency for regeneration, or you can do a manual regeneration. But my thoughts are, because I knew the calculations, I put in the gallons. That, for me, is best because I'm not regenerating if it's not necessary. You know, my, my regeneration is based upon my consumption of water. So it's, you know, from a financial perspective, it's better. From an environmental perspective, it's better. That's how I did mine. But you can do yours however you want to. But I hope this video helped. If it did, please like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. If it really made you happy, you can click that thanks button down below and send me a super thanks. And if you're shopping for a water softener solution, maybe a reverse osmosis system too, expand this video's description and then click the link there. And that's a great way to support my channel. If you have any questions, comment below. But, uh, you know, I, I hope I didn't hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope I did, a, did an acceptable job of explaining how does a water softener work. So this is how I explained how a water softener works. Did it make sense? Do you have questions? If so, that's perfectly fine. Comment below and I'll try to answer. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.